Back on the uh, confetti filled floor here at America Airlines Arena. And uh, Mickey Harrison, the man who writes the checks <laughs> here in Miami, has joined us on the set. Eric Spolster just called this the toughest series he's ever been a part of. How tough was it for the owner tonight? Uh, tonight wasn't as tough as Tuesday night. <laughs> <laughs> um, Tuesday night when they pulled out those yellow ropes, that was the lowest low I've felt in a long, long time. And uh, obviously, uh, I, the NBA, and a lot of fans thought it was over. But the guys didn't. And uh, Ray, Ray, Chris Bosh, LeBron, they just, they just made some miraculous plays. And, uh, and here we are. I wouldn't have believed it uh, with 25 seconds left on Tuesday night. We talk about this team, and we talk about LeBron being the great player that he is, of course. But you being a great businessman, Pat Riley, you started this this whole thing. When is it safe to say that you expected or assumed this when you put all of this together with these different players? Did you think you would have this great of a feeling as you do tonight? Did you expect that? Well, I, th I, I think the first time I felt like we had a chance uh, was in '98, '99, when we had uh, Zoe and Tim Hardaway, and we had some pretty good teams, and we. Uh, we lost. In the f we lost. Uh, um, this guy's talking in my ear, and I'm not used to this. So. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think you're supposed to hear that. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, the uh, uh, that was the first time I felt like we had a chance. But then when Big Fella came uh, to Miami, uh, the feeling that that not that you're going to win a championship because it takes so much. Not just great players, but a little bit of luck. Uh, you know, not getting injuries at the wrong time and all those kinds of things. And, and uh, But the feeling that you had a chance was a great feeling. And then to win that first one with this guy uh, was uh, the greatest feeling in the world. And once you have that feeling once, <laughs> you, really, you really want to have it again. When you, uh, sorry to cut you off. Uh, first okay. of all, congratulations. Shalom. Barack Hashem, you didn't know I was Jewish, but uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, when you purchase he a team, he speaks better Hebrew yeah, than exactly. I do. <laughs> when you purchase a team in '95 in and, and, and you hired Coach Pat Riley, and you know Pat Riley has been in charge most of the time. You know you've been one of those uh, owners that have you know sat back and let him do his thing. I mean, what I mean, what gave you that mentality to let Pat run the ship while you just sit back? Well, that's that, that's the way I run my business too. I mean, I, I, my philosophy is you hire the best people you can hire, and let them do their job. And if if they make mistakes and they do a bad job, then you know we all learn together, and and I do the best I can to help them through it and learn. And um, but uh, but in all our businesses, that's that's my approach. It's not uh, it's not to micromanage people because uh, you're not going to get great people if you micromanage them. You got to you got to give them the opportunity um, to do what they love to do. Uh, and obviously Pat loves what he does. He loved coaching uh, and he loves running the franchise. I think uh, obviously he's done a fantastic job. We we're talking about Shane and I'll, I'll just tell you a little story because I, I, I thought it was interesting and it's hard to even believe. I know Shane a long time because my son went to school with him at Duke. Uh, they were roommates, and, and uh, so we had so Nick and had a lot to do with, with convincing Shane to come down here. And uh, th this morning at shoot around, I was watching Shane, and, and he'd hit three out of four threes in Game Six. And I turned to Pat and I said, you know, I know Shane. One, he's a big game player, and two, after hitting three out of four threes, he keeps making them, and he's going to have a big night tonight. And man, I'm so glad I was right. <laughs> yeah, you called it. Uh, and you've got a lot of talented people working for you, and they got the job done again. Back to back titles. Congratulations to you. Thank, thank you very much. Congratulations. Bob Ryan looks wait, back at the. Wait. Uh, oh, no, no, Bob Ryan. Hold on. What? what? Mickey just gave us free free tickets for Carnival Cruise Lines. Oh, thank you. 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 Thank you.